Okay, so there's the plan. That's the front, this is the back. So this is how we're facing. Nice drawings, wall types down here, okay? Uh, you're like, you know, anyways, we're gonna start back here. Uh, then we'll lay out this and this and this. Hopefully we'll get all this, this done. And then move the equipment here. And then we'll do this, all this stuff. Yeah, that's the that's the plan. Quack, quack. Sorry? I don't know, we'll see in a second here. But we uh foot 10 inch from the inside of that wall to the inside of the wall that comes in and then this one is two foot six and a half so from there is nine foot ten Inside with drywall, okay. okay. So, uh, this is 5 8 drywall, so I'm gonna come 5 8 this way, mm -hmm. okay. And that's where my steel, steel is, okay. And then it's a 3 and 5 8 wall, so I put it up my tape on the one and mark 4 and 5 8, and that's my steel, and then there, okay. Uh, <clears throat> and then I come come back here. Try to keep your tape square. All right, so uh, it's going to be one eighteen five eighths. 122 to this side. And this is two foot six and a half. Wait, yeah, two foot six and a half, three and a half. It comes over here. Okay. This track I just push up against the wall. It's a furring wall. I double check. W2, W1, uh, both three, three and five eighths, three and five eighths with one layer, one layer five eighths. So we're good. Okay. Beautiful. Now, uh, let's see. Six foot 11. So it looks like center of the wall. Center's better. That way you don't have to take off the drywall or anything. You just yeah. Two and five eighths wall, so like an inch and seven eighths back to the one and then four and five eighths. Oh yeah. And then basically I just check eighty one small quarter. Okay, and I check how far out it goes. Okay, 
so it's nine foot two and a half, five six and a half center to center. Okay. This one. I think he said. Is it a W2? I'm making sure, yep, three and five eights. Okay. And then I'll take a measurement from back here to this. 147 small three quarter. 147 three quarter small. And I'm gonna come down here. Seven, five, eight. Okay, 
Oh, uh, but that's the center. So this whole wall needs to come this way 13 inches. So yeah, after you get your bottom track hammered down, then you can do your top track. Plot out all your, you know, got your top track and your and your headers cut. Okay, you see all my overlaps. I'm I got I got tabs overlapping uh, where the walls intersect. Okay, it's just good good practice to uh, do ahead of time. Okay, get it all worked out. It's nice all that all that's done, and I did it all on the ground, right? So even where this six inch wall comes into this three and five, I'm gonna overlap it in this corner. Okay, the sheet of drywall will pass in, but this is overlapping. The walls will be at 12 feet and the sheets will be at 10. So I don't need to have that lip, that three quarter inch back at the top. Okay, like I do at the bottom, if you know what I mean. So on the, from the four and a quarter here, right? I cut my track back four and a quarter to give myself that three quarter inch um, space for five eighths or half inch, it doesn't matter. It always go the same, okay? I haven't done this top track yet because I'm not sure I want to double triple check where the door goes uh, over here because my full height walls start in here somewhere and there's a hallway and all that but I don't want to really do that until I get the rest laid out and figured out because we're move we had to move stuff 13 inches this way because the overall width of the building is 13 inches smaller than what is on the drawings so we need to make sure all the equipment fits <laughs> right so Simple as that guys, I hope you guys are watching my live streams. I'm gonna show you a couple tricks on how to get this top track together coming up right away. See how perfect that is, right? And you got your corner. Same deal, you can put your corner right on right now, okay? do put a st stud on the wall put a stud here a stud on the end you're golden it's a line laser stud <laughs> the um, I'm just putting it tacking it in so that I can go put the get the top track on okay I'm putting a screw in in the middle of the stud all right I've made marks just get this level, okay? So we can have something to put the top track on. But I'm gonna have Ben holding a stud on the end here for the corner. And we already got this bad boy right here, okay? I could even shoot up a, a 16 if I want to, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the laser over there. Um, I'm going to uh, pin up the corner, check that. Then what I'll do is I'll have Ben plumb up a laser line. This two here, okay, just spring wall, pushed into the wall every two feet, at least one screw every two feet. Okay, once in a while, put two there, put two in the bottom, and again, two in the top. Okay. Balls 
still there. Here, uh, so uh, next time, Brett. 
two at a time. Okay, grab two. Okay. If that might get, that's okay. You can try to grab three at a time. Okay, right? Come on. Okay, so I literally just screw in the track in and I put the wafer, I lasered up my 16. After I screwed the track into the wall, that stud screwed in. La uh, laser up the stud, do the layout, and then yeah, wafer in the front and then inch and a quarter in the back going into the drywall.
line laser set up. All right, pin laser in the corner. Uh, I got my wall studs screwed in. Couple of studs ready to go and then my brace stud. Set up a brace across and check the corner for plumb. And uh, yeah, got the extra brace running across, so I'm gonna make sure this is square and, uh, by checking up here. And uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> 